Good evening, my name's Cody Clarkson and you're watching Weasel News. This week, a police officer is trying to sue Weasel News. Last week, senior constable Yosin Abu Hamdam gave this interview, which he volunteered to do, and gave verbal consent for the interview, which was caught on camera. However, before Weasel News went live to air last week, he started sending aggressive emails to Weasel staff, demanding the interview no longer be included. This completely unreasonable demand to withdraw the interview he consented to only minutes before Weasel News went live to air. However, I can understand why he did not want the interview included. When you consider that he admitted that the police have failed to stop the rise of violence in the city. And the best reassurance that the police can give people is that it will end shortly. Just so you know that we here at Weasel News are authentic and we don't make anything up. Here's the original clip where you can listen to the officer's statements. This is on the rise with Los Santos. Uh, us as police, we are uh, cracking down on it one by one. Obviously, we can't, you know, do everything about it all at once, but little by little, it's uh, to come to an end shortly, hopefully. Now, Senior Constable Hamdan's inability to put a police statement together seems to be the least of his problems, however. At this hostage situation, the officer was tasked with the simple job of exchanging money with a hostage taker. Instead, the senior constable was taken hostage himself and forced into the boot of the car while his police colleagues simply watched him get taken. Not only did the officers watch their colleague get taken, they then opened fire on the vehicle with complete disregard for Harm Dam's life in the back of the vehicle. Some police analysts have suggested that this whole situation was a setup by police high command to dispose of Officer Harm Dan after the terrible interview and failed attempt to sue Weasel News. More on the trouble in the police force right after this break. Welcome back. Now, if you thought it couldn't get any worse for Officer Hamdam, you're wrong. There was an incident that occurred on Atlas Street just outside the job center where John Cena shot dead six individuals. Now, Hamdam arrived on the scene and saw John shoot two of the individuals. He then engaged in quarterly conversation with the individual. He then believed John when he said that, oh, no, it wasn't me that was killing them. It was the gentleman in a black Titan that uh, had shot at me. I was acting in self-defense. Officer Hamdam believed him and he went over to uh, the Black Titan and there, there drove by John. John got out of his car. He shot dead the individuals in the Black Titan. He finished his hit all while the officer sat there and simply watched him do it. And his words on the incident. And then we had a situation there at Alta Street where I killed a couple of your officers, I killed a couple of civilians. I then got back in this Diablo behind me and then I hid behind a bus 10 meters away from, I believe it's called the TAC unit or the SWAT unit couple of important fellas there and yeah I just sat in the Diablo behind the bus I spit on the police force mate absolutely useless I was in this exact Diablo that I committed the mass shooting in which they all saw that's gonna come from a blue Diablo then chased me I went around a corner I then went back to the scene and parked behind a bus police force are a bunch of comedians here's what John thought about that officer oh yeah that guy that guy's corrupt as fuck. got gray hair What's his name? Abraham Dan or something? Yeah, he's completely corrupt for me in the slimes. Clearly, things aren't looking too good for senior constable Ham Dan. However, here's some more positive news. The long-awaited grand opening of the casino has finally arrived. Here's Wesley Cudmore with the story. The long-awaited Diamond Casino and Resort has now finally opened. CEO Dazza Michaels is excited for the future of his new business. I'm hoping the Diamond Casino will be the uh, number one destination for everyone to come down most weekends. We're planning to hopefully be open most nights and we just want to make this a uh, 
fun environment for everyone. Tonight, a $250,000 prize with free entry was held, where a Ty Jenkins was lucky enough to win, and we were lucky enough to talk to him. I didn't expect to win. The staff are great, excellent people. Everyone around here just seems to have the happy vibe, you know? The Diamond Casino and Resort has an enormous amount of space, not just for gambling. From open upstairs bars to pools, even to my personal favorite, the fires. Casino goers really did love the atmosphere of tonight and just couldn't get enough. I'm loving it at the moment. Maybe a few more slot machines working, maybe some horse races, some roulette would be perfect. I have made a pretty profit. I went in with 16k and just cashed out then with 60k. I give the Diamond Casino Resort a rating of 9 out of 10. The staff here at the casino are very hopeful for the future of their business as they continue to grow. Tonight we got about 70 people through the door alone. Uh, so, I mean, if that's not an indicator in our second night of opening, then I don't know what is. Let's hope they achieve everything they set out for. Wesley Cudmore, Weasel News. Weasel News will be right back after the break. Welcome back, you're watching Weasel News. Our next story brings us some more eye-opening images from the police force with our reporter, Mike Martini. What started off as a routine traffic stop turned quickly into a full-scale shootout. Police attempted to stop a black Sultan RS for speeding, but were led into an ambush on the Humane Lab's property. Police quickly surrounded the area, but with one officer shot dead, police appeared fixated on killing these offenders. It appeared that there was no option to take them into custody. Police took little regard for where or what they shot at, with several bullets striking the ground close to our cameraman. The suspects on the off-road bikes, were they really a threat? They were no longer shooting, and yet police were willing to spray fully automatic weapons towards them and others in an attempt to kill them. insightful information there regarding how the police tend to handle situations going guns blazing or take a more civilized route which do you think the police should be doing our next story with wesley cudmore local hoon or common criminal you decide last saturday night weasel news was doing live coverage of a carjacking suspect fleeing police around little seoul the chase dragging on for quite some time when the suspect suddenly came to a stop at the hill valley church Police and patrons were not impressed. This speeding car was caught doing speeds over 150 kilometers at around 8.30 last Saturday night. The vehicle finally stopping here where we caught up with Deputy Jackson Marcelli. He had this to say. Today we were uh, just conducting a, a traffic stop on a vehicle that was uh, driving recklessly throughout the city uh, where he claims that a brick fell on his uh, foot and uh, stuck his accelerator right to the floor and uh, fled through the city at high speeds because a brick fell on my foot and I stopped to, uh, tried to stop the car and this officer over here says he's not buying my story. Well, highly unbelievable that a brick was ever found uh, nor was one found on the floor of the car. There was no fatalities or any injuries uh, throughout the pursuit, which was uh, obviously a good factor. Uh, it was a successful uh, arrest. Uh, the man's going to be going away for about 15 months uh, for the vehicle uh, pursuit and the uh, stolen vehicle. Suspect behind bars and not behind a wheel. Everyone in Los Santos is safe. Wesley Cudmore, Weasel News. That's it for Weasel News this week. I'm Cody Clarkson. Thank you for watching. Good night.